Hi Pisces and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, remember to hit that subscribe button and also the like button. Now we're going to do a reading for Pisces Sun, Moon and Rising Signs for the month of March and April 2020. If you feel a reading doesn't resonate for you or with you, please check out your moon sign or your rising sign, which is sometimes called your ascendant, okay? So that sometimes that resonates more for us. It's activating more in our chart. If you need to find that out, then click on the link below and get your natal chart, and that will give you your sun, moon, rising, and other planetary aspects and places in your personal chart. So what, let's get down to it. My apologies first for everybody, for, to everybody that I have not been able to get the March readings out early. It has been a very, very incredibly busy month, as has February. So February and March, as you're all aware, there's been a lot going on in the world. We are all um, a part of this big um, epidemic that is happening, and we're all going through major changes and transitions. So thank you to everybody who actually shares information on my channel, on other channels, readers, spirituality talks that are actually helping people understand the energies, the vibrations that are happening this, this month and for the next few months. It really does support the community. It helps people understand and get through times and also help raise the vibration of people. And that's what we're all here to do as a collective, keep raising the vibration, particularly at times like this. So if you're sharing, liking, subscribing, passing on this information to friends, family, co-workers, you know, thank you. You are helping the, the, the people as a collective. All right, so thank you, Pisces. Um, now, one of the things I do want to touch on, Pisces, is what is happening overall for everybody is the Saturn-Pluto conjunction in March. Now, it also happened in January, on January the 12th. I have got a, a forecast up about that, so you might want to look at that. I've talked about that. If Pluto-Saturn conjunction is going to go all through the year right till December. What happened in January, it started in January. It is now direct alignment, direct conjunction, square, whatever. They, it's, it's directly hitting the January in March. So what was happening in January is hitting you in March. So um, January gave us a quick look and March, it's come up again. Okay, so you may be dealing with issues that have come up again. But the month of March, I'm not going to go too into it. We're going to pull some cards. I am I'm not a traditional tarot reader. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't, because most of my um, messages are channeled. I do channel through spirit because I work as a full-time clairvoyant and medium. So Pisces, I just get the messages coming through and the readings are going to be a little bit different this month, okay? I'll do a little bit of planetary aspects, but also mainly I just want some messages from spirit. Um, there has been a very heavy energy for you, Pisces, for the month of March. Um, I'm hearing work, 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 no play. So it's it's been um, chaotic or scatty or on the run or there's been a lot going on around you, Pisces. And I know that as a collective energy, we've kind of had that or people have been set in motion in a panic way. But you had your birthday season month. Or a lot of you have had your birthday now and you're in your 2020, Pisces. So... Once you hit your birthday this year, you've set like the foundation, a new foundation. So what I'm being told is a lot of Pisces in the month of March, it's, you know, when you're on the grind, on the hard grind and grinding through and you really are doing it, Pisces, there is a small group of you that are kind of just wanting to put your head in the sand, okay, and pull back and disconnect and not be around anyone and anything and pull away and really, you know, Pisces, you can have an aspect, a little bit like Aquarius, where you can really be out of reality or disconnect. Try not to do that if you can, because we're wanting to face and set. 2020 is about facing. 2019, we're showing you, do you want to stay what you're doing or do you want to reinvent the karmic cycles, the karmic paths, your patterns? And 2020 is now saying, right, now we're going to lay a new foundation. Now we're going to do the work. 
okay? So for some of you don't, you're just like, oh, I don't wanna do the work, I just wanna ignore it, I don't wanna face it. For others of you, you're on the grind. There's a there's a group here that I can really feel pushing through and on the grind and, and helping people and places and situations because when you had your birthday or your birthday month, Pisces, I'm hearing spirits saying things became very clear. And I'm not saying you could put them in action or you're doing them, but things became very clear to you at another level. So I feel like you've already had your revelations. A lot of people are having them February, March, April, March, April, but you kind of had them January, February. So you're hitting March and you know, there's a knowing there for a lot of you that you've made a decision or you've, you know that you're either going in a new direction, you've made the decision, or you know, you might not be doing it, but you, in your head, I'm, I'm seeing in the back of your mind, you know there's a deep knowing there for a lot of you. So please trust that. Pisces, I am getting a very strong message that whatever is going on for you this month, like I, don't, I just said don't lay low, don't put your head in the sand, but uh, it's not about laying low, it's, it's more about being cruisy or letting go because I've got a message that the next two months ahead, you'll be picking up steam or momentum in that new direction that you want. So if you wanted to implement it right now, there might be a message that I'm getting that you can't, all right? Or things around you, you're trying to steam through and get everything done and you're distracted and you're doing 50,000 things or you're busy. Some of you have just put your head in the sand. Um, but for those of you who are sort of trying to push through, just, just know, know and trust that deep intuitive knowing because the next two months ahead or in two months, I feel like stuff is going to go out forward for a lot of you in what you are planning and what you are wanting. All right. So the month of March for Pisces. <laughs> I just got a really um, funny message and it was for some of you like put a ring on it and someone got down on their knees. So I don't know who that's for, but some of you were like, come on, put a ring on it. It's time. Like we need to move on to the next level, like, you know, in a funny way. But um, yeah, so some of you will be um, tying the knot, like the proposal or wanting to take that next level with someone. Um, you want to move forward. You want to make a decision and move forward. There's like no more floundering, no more wondering, no more like let's get this show on the road type energy. Um, so that's only for a small amount of you. Some of you may be meeting the, you know, someone coming in who wants to marry you. And look at that. So Pisces, this is emotional card, okay? Lots of emotions are coming up. Now, this is the lovers, the soulmate, you know, passion, connection. You're either wanting that or you, if you have that, you want another level. You want the next step. You want to move forward in it, okay? For some of you, if it was emotional in a negative way, you've had to look at relationships, all right, or soulmate connections or you're wanting it, you know, the more negative side of that or the emotional side. It's very... it's. It's very much playing on your mind, Pisces, this month, is love, passion, connection, relationship, the next level in a relationship, or, or some of you will have it coming in or finding it. Um, and I think you've wanted this for a long time. You know, and let's say you're happily married and you're all in a relationship or partnership and you're like, no, no, that's not for me. It could be connection within relationships, like-minded people, you know, like-minded community. Where's my tribe? Where's my soul group? You're really wanting that. Yeah, you, you stay put, sit back, Pisces. You know, some of you are just holding on too tight in fear, being resistant, putting your head in the sand, being stuck, not letting anything in, anyone in, not looking at anything, just sitting tight. Other of you, it's, it's sit back, all right? Be patient. There's, you know, still some deep thinking and thought going on here. And look at that. In the next two months, two to three months for you, let's say if I was looking at it like that, two weeks, two months, time's fluid. 
but what they're saying here is I feel you've got more clarity, more direction, more move forward. And the Queen of Swords, no, she's very focused. He, she's very focused, very direct, very made a decision. I'm making a decision once and for all. So, and you do, you want your new world, new reality, new life, new beginning, whatever it is. This is a new start for you, Pisces, or, or a new world or location or beginning or situation. All right, so that's what's coming out for you in the month of March. So there still is a little bit of patience and a little bit of restriction here for you who who are trying to soldier through. But for those of you who aren't, who, who have kind of, yeah. There's a running thing here going on, whether you're in a relationship, um, There's very deep thinking here about relationships in the month of March. I actually think you've had it sort of January, February, March, but or February, March, you knew, but um, you've been in de de very deep thinking or restriction for some of you, and you're going to make a decision in the month of March. It's clear, it's direct, you know where you're going, you're going to cut people on or off or make those calls so you're going to make the call that you know out of your heart and your head and go up in your head and make those calls you know finally doing it facing reality i suppose the queen of swords can definitely face reality um because you want this new world you want this new um beginning start you know world paradigm direction whatever it is because you were done there okay so some of you whether you're in a relationship because this is about a soulmate relationship or connection or someone you that so if you're in a relationship you could have been reviewing the relationship whether it's to stay or go because it needed to change because we've got some you know emotional exhaustion here everyone's getting that card for the month of march actually you and another sign the others didn't yet uh, but that one's coming out libra you and libra keep getting this yeah i'm done i need change i need you i need change or i'm done whether it's in a current relationship or you're single some of you may be meeting a soulmate a soulmate's coming in and you're wanting to connect with the soulmate some of you will be getting married or putting a ring on it that could be happening there and if they don't that was that hurry up and put a ring on it like come on how long do i have i waited you know that type of energy um in love in a loving way <laughs> Some of you are in deep contemplation about relationships, if you're in one currently, and that could be, it's more love. I'm going to say all relationships, but I think it's more love. Yeah, anything that's not, anyone or anything that's not working with you or for you will be shown in the month of March, um, uh, Pisces. Um, you are going to come out, this, this card comes out at the end of March in every single reading. You can go and look at all of them absolute transformation whatever is going on for everyone wherever we get hit here whether it's um romantic professional you'll know where it fits don't make it fit if it doesn't fit don't make it fit if it's not romance it might be money or job or career but whatever so we're done you're done somewhere and it's revealed and you kind of known for a while you're already very clear pisces on your direction and or your answer or where you're wanting to travel move to mentally emotionally physically and spiritually by the end of march you are very clear on not not working with you or for you that you may have thought were but they're not and this is transformation from a higher perspective this is an oh i've changed this is i want to live a new world or a new paradigm or a new beginning i see things from a higher perspective i've gone another spiritual level how i saw things i'm now seeing them from a whole different perspective and we're seeing that in the month of march just alone just alone if we looked at the group consciousness of of, of the world yeah look at that Look at the bottom of the deck, the old Hierophant. He's come out, these two have come out side by side um, in readings at the end of each month. Every At the end of March, in every reading, guess who's popped out? Absolute transformation. Even the group consciousness with the virus that's going around, we're all going through a minute. We are going to see life from a whole new perspective. New priorities, seeing people, places, situations from an absolute trance, from a different higher perspective different meaning more spiritual meaning okay um and the universe was stepping in here the universe is stepping in here prices
And that's why I'm saying, you know, wait, things are picking up in the next two months for you. You already know, but there is a little bit of this waiting game. There is a little bit of it, and I don't want you to go, oh, I've been waiting forever. It's happening. The universe is doing this, Pisces, not you. And it is looks about like your relationships and time to move on or forward or step it up or change it for the month of March. I have to admit, you're coming, yeah, you're sitting back, Pisces, or you have been, try, and you've been thinking and, and restricting yourself, trying to come up with new ideas, new inspiration, or get new inspiration or new ideas. Um, you know, you, you've been sitting, contemplating these changes for a while. You know, deep thought, deep contemplation here. Um, even where you didn't want to hear it or you didn't want to see it, the month of March, month of January really brought it up for you and the Wheel of Fortune, your change is coming. See, that's the second card. I kept getting two months, two weeks, whatever, time's fluid. But yeah, look what's coming in. Whatever you're moving towards, um, Pisces, you're getting more. It's going to be better than you expected. The flow of abundance or you want a flow of abundance. Um, or you've got this. You've got this coming in. Wherever you're heading, whatever you need to cut out, cut off, stop, move forward, you've got this flow of abundance coming in. You know it. I feel you know it on a deep level, Pisces. You're pretty intuitive. Hold your ground. So, you know, you're going to stand up for what you want. Hold your ground. You're not taking action. She's holding her ground. She's waiting for the universe, the timing, divine timing for her new beginning. He, he she, her, him. Um, Yep, you are done and you're waiting for that cup of love. You're waiting for that offer. You're waiting. You want connection. We've got the Knight of Cups here. Something's done for some of you. Completely done. Or it's a job, person, place, situation. But to me, this is more about relationships, love, romance. The, the Knight of Cups offers love and connection and you want that. And the next card is the Lover's card. Connection, love, you know, all of that stuff. Yep. For some of you, there is an overwhelming heart connection, meeting someone. It's the heart, the emotions could be emotions you've never felt before. You know, Pisces, you could have something coming in that you just didn't imagine. It was more than you could possibly imagine here. This is a cup of love coming in. Um, let's say it could be that work, dream offer, um, recognition, value, appreciation, stepping it up. But I actually think this is more about heart-based stuff. Yep, wherever you didn't want to see it, didn't want to hear it, people weren't working with you, weren't working for you. Some of you are cutting someone out, moving on. Some of you are making or saying it's time to step it up. What are we doing here? And some of you are actually meeting someone. You've stepped into your power here, Pisces. Look at you sitting back. The Queen of Wands knows that she takes action. She knows when to take action. She can stand up for herself. She's transformed her life. She sees life from a new perspective or she has a new perspective. This is on top of a mountain looking over the town. She can see everything now. She understands more, but she's sitting back in her power. She knows her value. And the universe is stepping in wherever you've been fighting this or someone's been fighting this or not moving forward or you felt the struggle or if you've had to defend yourself or move forward or it's been hard, Pisces, the universe is stepping in for you. I really like, that is the lightest reading I have done for the month of March, Pisces. I'm liking this energy. Now, in that... Um, you know, look, if some of you are going through a breakup or a breakdown, if, you know, you are going to transcend through this, through, a, um, you're just going to have such an awakening, see things from such a different level. So hang in there, Pisces, okay? Um, now let's move into Pisces because March has just been hectic for everybody. Um, it's very, it's much lighter for you than it has been other people, Pisces, so... Um, yeah, look at this, the month of April, <laughs> I was just about to say, Venus goes, um, into, in the month of April, on the 4th of April, into your fourth house, your home, your family, 
connections. Now, whether that's your current family or the family you want to bring in or you wanting or you're manifesting, we've got Venus coming here. That's love, that's nurture, that's gatherings, that's that home and family, um, being around a lot of family. You know, Venus wants to create peace and harmony and connection and nourishment and nurture, um, beautifying the home. You'll really have that creative energy in there and Venus helping. You know, you might want to be cooking and having people over. Not that we're meant to, we're on lockdown here in Australia, but um, you know, you just might be nurturing your family or wanting to or having that feeling like I want, you know, the person to come in that I can do that with. It's coming in. Um, on the 8th, you've got um, in the 8th house, um, other people's money, banks, mortgage, inheritance, tax, you know, it's, and then we've got the Libra full moon there too. So the Libra full moon is going to be about you balancing it up. Okay, Libra wants win-win, balance. And I'm being told here that you need to clean up the Libra and full moon for you, Pisces. Clean up your money. Get it balanced because you're going to be making space and making way for your new life, for your new beginning. Um, but you need to create a bit of, um, it's been so busy, or you've been so busy, you've got to create that space to let that spiritual energy come in, that time to think about you and yourself and connecting to you. I think Pisces, a lot of you have been very, very busy. We've had these fall out again. I'm going to put them in and reshuffle because they just fell out in the month of March and they've come in again. So let's let's keep shuffling. So, you know, um, Pisces, clean it up, make some space so you can create some psychic space. And what we mean by psychic space is time for yourself. Time to tap in for yourself. You are going to want that. A lot of you are going to be recognized for your job, for your career. You're developing your gifts, talents, uh, great for business. You know, you might get rewarded over this time um, or an offer. So great for money, great for business. That's after the full moon. That's when about the 12th um, because things do go into the, your second house of money. Yeah, look, you want emotional security, stability. Um, this is, The king of cups is balance. It's balance and mature emotions, balanced emotions. You want to balance your emotions. Okay, um, you want that feel that balance in your life, Pisces. So clean up mid month all your money, all your balance, your books, get everything sorted, tax complete, paperwork complete. Um, other people's money could be money coming in, or a job, or pay rise, or a job, or something like that for some of you. But it's more important, they're saying, about this 12th house. You're going to get a lot of messages coming through for your 12th house. Oh, sorry, the spirituality. Um, second house. Oh, my gosh, what am I saying? The second house, 12th. On the 12th, sorry. Cancel what I just said. On the 12th, we have Mercury in the second house. Sorry. Get your money sorted so that you can do that spiritual work, that higher um, higher learning, higher... Something's wanting to come through on a spiritual aspect. Um, I don't even got your chart pulled up, but maybe it is from the 12th house when I was traveling through. Um, you've also got Neptune. Um And it's going to hit your seventh house of relationships. And what this is going to bring up for you after the full moon, and then we've got a new moon in Taurus at the end of the month, which is really great. But you've got this Neptune energy in April. And this is what I want to touch on. Who are you trusting in relationships, Pisces? Who are you putting your faith into? This calls this month of April to really trust your gut, really trust your intuition. Go with your gut feeling and follow them. That's that 12th house energy I was tapping in. That's all about make sure you're creating some space. Get everything organized, money, foundation, security, stability. Then create that space mid-month 
because you need this space to tap in spiritually. You need to be in tune for some reason because this is about who are you trusting, who are you putting your faith in, and you need to follow your gut feeling because Pisces, they some of you, not all of you, there can be an aspect, particularly with Neptune. Neptune, we Pisces don't really quite look at, like looking at the full picture anyway. Um, they, you know, Pisces are known for detachment and things like that. But what I'm healing, feeling here is there could be some very clear, precise messages coming through from through you from the divine. <coughs> Um, and you really have to trust your intuition. Particularly around who you trust and who you have faith in. Sometimes we've got to look at something that we don't really want to. Or we just go, oh, we couldn't say over it. Oh, I don't really want to look into that. But there's something there. Look, good money, options. Um, yeah, look. There's new inspiration, new ideas, new energy. Even if you're in a current relationship, there is new energy. There is new connection, new inspiration, you know, um, with a partnership, a twin flame, a soulmate, whatever it is. This is union connection. For some of you who have already in that, then you've got this revived energy, all right? For some of you, you just want new. You want a new relationship or you want to go the next level or you want this to come in. The thing I don't like here, and it's saying it exactly, you know, there is some deceit and deception here in April for you, Pisces, whether you're deceiving yourself, you're not looking at the whole picture, you're only seeing half the picture, or you don't want to look at the whole picture, you're deceiving yourself, you're deceiving others, or vice versa. You do have to look at this. Um, there's lots of um, things floating around in the ethers that you're probably thinking about, thinking you might be doing, thinking, um, but they're not in reality. These are not in the ground. So you might be thinking a lot of things in your head, but the people around you don't know. You might have a plan or all these thoughts in your head, but who, nobody knows, and it's bringing a deceptive energy. So Pisces, anywhere you are bringing in a deceptive energy that you're not aware of, there's something you need to confront here, Pisces, in April that you don't want to or you're going to confront someone and you're not going to want to hear it you don't want to look at it you don't want to hear it it's emotional um you have to think very difficult again this person is not wanting to hear or take it on or listen look at this very reactive very defensive to what everyone says very emotional the moon card um and here we've got the um i don't want to hear it I don't want to look at it. Emotional exhaustion, mental, emotional, physical exhaustion. But what's happening here, Pisces, is you're exhausting yourself by keeping it all up in your head or all up in the ethers or not telling people or hiding or being deceptive yourself. So it's like some of you are not confronting something or not wanting to look at something or the whole picture and you're being deceptive or coming across of deceptive or you're just being deceptive to other people or yourself, or vice versa. You'll work out how that fits. Some of you are definitely getting married, got a new inspiration in relationships, or wanted. Okay, that's fantastic. And you want a new world, and you want to move forward. You want to get your power back. You do, you get in your chariot, you've, you've got a new world, new paradigm, new beginning here. See, this is before this. You hit this and then you're like, I've got to do something about this or I've got to fix it or I've got to take action or maybe you feel back in control. The chariot's about, I feel like I've got a new beginning, new lease of life, I'm back in control, I can move forward. The wheel of fortune here. Um, someone or something wants to come in but it's slow. Whether it was a job, a person, a place or a situation, Pisces, it's slow moving. So you remember we said in the next two months from April, like I know I said it in March, but I'm feeling more April 
or mid-April, mid-March, then you've got sort of two months to wait. All right, it's slow and steady. You are getting a new beginning. You've got your a pentac um, pentacles here. You've got your focus back. You've got your clarity back. For some of you, that's someone coming into your life finally with focus and clarity and they've made a decision and they know. Um, and, but some of you where you didn't want to look at something or you're being a bit immature or someone, this is, this is you not wanting to see something, Pisces. You're blocking it out. You don't want to listen to anyone. You don't want to hear. You don't want to see any other side of the story. Some of you, um, or that's being done to you, or some of you um, are dealing with someone who's playing games. You could be you, Pisces, playing games with someone, saying that you will do something and you're not. You don't follow through. You're putting, there's someone putting their head in the sand. Somebody saying, oh, no, 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 yeah, yeah, I'll do that. Yeah, yeah, I'll do it. And they've got no intentions. This is the page. This is immature. They say things quickly. They say things to please people, but it's hollow, okay? And they're really blocked or stuck or it's got them blocked or stuck in a situation or they're not wanting to listen to it or face it. Now, please, if that's the opposite and you're dealing with someone like that, you know who it is. But this person does not want to listen. And this person is not walking their talk, not following through and not keeping their promises, which backs up the information where we said there's something going to go down this month, Pisces, for some of you or you to some others. Trust your instinct, trust your gut. This person's not very trustworthy and you may not be seeing it for some of you or, or you're trusting them and they're not trustworthy or vice versa. Or someone's dealing with you, Pisces, and they've realised, uh-oh, Pisces is not saying who they are. They're not following through. They're just telling me what I want to hear. So that could be you, Pisces, or someone to you, vice versa. So the month of April, there's still something that's going to come up. It is about deception, deceiving, being super intuitive and taking action. You really want your emotional balance back. And a lot of you, it's with money or security or stability on some level, whether that's um, in a relationship or just in your finances. A lot of you are going to get your finances organized this month. You are going to get things in balance and cleaned up so you can re-tap into your spiritual. You've got messages coming through You've that the universe is trying to bring to you and help you that bringing change, the wheel of fortune, so you can move forward in whatever that is for you. But whether it's you or the people around you, Pisces, somebody here is really not being in their truth or truthful or walking their talk or something's going on. And I did say some, there's a group that have put their head in the sand. You could be the deceptive ones or not being truthful or honest or upfront. And then there's the other ones that were soldiering on, um, you know, confronting things and helping people and busy and out there and moving things forward. But please trust your intuition. Trust, use your intuition on who you're putting your faith in. Who are you trusting? You know, um, you might have to be, yeah. But the overall theme for a lot of you is if you're in a relationship, it's going well, you could be getting married, engaged, it could be going the next level. For another group of you, there is a big tower moment in a relationship. Maybe you didn't want to see it. Maybe you didn't want to face it, but there's going to be, and this could be a lover or a connection with a soulmate who's a friend or whatever, but there's a massive tower moment coming, Pisces. But for some of you, your foundation of how you're living is going to be taken down or out. That's the tower moment. We get a new foundation. So some of you will be finding a soulmate, moving forward into a direction, you've made a decision, you know what you want, you know what you're heading towards, and you, you, this, is, this will be coming in for you. Because there is a soulmate theme for you this month, Pisces. 
Um, I like it. If it's positive, it's great. If it's negative, oh. But um, how you, it, the tower card represents to your foundation. And I did say 2020 was about setting a new foundation. So I feel there's a little bit more here, Pisces, to clean up or clear up in... Where are you deceiving yourself or are others deceiving you? Where are you being deceptive or, are you, or people are being deceptive to you? What are you not wanting to look at? Where are you not walking your talk or where are others not walking their talk? Okay, and for others of you who say none of that's happening, you might be just ready to bring in new inspiration, new ideas, a new beginning in your relationships, in your love, in your connections, a new level. You're stepping it up, Pisces. Yeah, look at that, Pisces. Pisces, Pisces, ending, a complete ending of a cycle or you or who you are is happening at the end of April. And what you're putting out is what the universe wants to bring in and reward you. So that reading makes more sense now. It makes sense to me, really, by in April, what you put out, Pisces, here's a big message because we're only at the end of March. You've got till the end of April. Hear this message. What you're putting out to others or the universe is what you're going to get back in reward. And there's going to be an ending and a completion. A tower moment as well. So if I was getting these cards, I'd be making sure I was acting in my integrity. I would be acting in the integrity of others. I, and I'd be the opposite of deceit, deception, deceiving myself, all of that sort of stuff. That's an interesting message. There's more. There's one more message I need to bring through for you, Pisces. What is that message? What do you want to bring through? It's actually in the other deck there. Yeah, trust your intuition this month, month of April, Pisces. And you're going to get your focus. You're going to move forward in a direction that you're passionate about or that's coming into you as well. Um, but that's very clear, focused direction. That's what I think you need to... Um, what's the message? It's still not the message. What's the message that Pisces needs to hear? Someone in Pi Pisces wants to hear a certain message. They want an answer. <laughs> trust because i heard yes i heard they want a certain message it's yes whoever you was like i needed a certain message and it didn't come through the answer is yes trust keep an open mind it's coming very soon and that was that two month thing everything's moving forward in two months Pisces. whether it's a relationship a job a new paradigm a new way a new being i think for some of you you're very clear you're moving forward you've faced your stuff the ones that who have not faced their stuff, that put their head in the sand, maybe, that don't want to look at the big picture, the whole picture, I think they're the ones that are going to get that, that tower moment, that big, yeah. And I told you there's a love thing for Pisces. New love, wedding, whether it's with the current one, or for singles, this is what you're heading towards, this is what's coming in. But they are saying pay attention to red flags, trust, keep an open mind very soon. All you've got to do is keep your intuition open and on. If anything feels off, trust it. Love, wedding, connection, new love, new beginning, whether it's a new, new level with a current partner, a new partner, um, a new friends, new groups, new associations. It's happening very soon. I know you feel like, oh, I've just been waiting forever, but it is going to take momentum within the next two months forward. Okay, Pisces. Well, thank you, Pisces, for listening. I hope you enjoy this reading, and I hope this helps you through the month of March, April. See you next month.